Shadow, a clan that was once feared and powerful. A clan that every different tier player wanted to join upon signing up for different tier. This is my story of how I got into Shadow and how it eventually died out. Now let's start from the beginning. I pretty much joined Shadow back in 2013 and the way I got in there is by a man by the name of ZKOtix19. Now I pretty much think everybody knew ZKOtix19 at some point because honestly he was pretty big. Well not, I'm not, I, how can I say, he was pretty known in the different tier community. Sure he made videos here and there but honestly his, you know, his uh, identity got mostly known because of Shadow. He was pretty much a leader in that clan and well, he was the one that pretty much recruited you. And once, and once you recruited, obviously there were three leaders. There was um, Dead Exposure, there was 115, and the last one, I forgot his name. He was basically the one that pretty much organized the clan and put it back on his feet. So, of course, back in 2013, I was, want to say, 16 years old at that time. So, I was pretty young, 16 or 15. And, well, <laughs> I wanted to join Shadow ever since I first played 2D, you know. But back then, Shadow when it was going through you know the 2d phase it was pretty much one of the biggest clans you can join you know it was no it was one of the biggest clans you can join and honestly to get in it was very tough you know back then they had their own website going they had um you know their own chat their own face cams it, it was just insane and, and they still had this when i joined at the time you know there were a lot of players there were like 15 14 at the time you know i wish i could name some but pretty much i pretty much forgot mostly all of them because that's how long ago it was. I know there were a few who named 115, Zchaotix, Dead Exposure. I honest, I actually met him and, you know, that was the first time I saw him and, like, you know, saw him, saw his face, you know. We had some we had some cool discussions here and there, but, you know, never nothing, anything, anything too serious. Anyway, let's continue. So, back in 2013, I had to actually grind a specific number in order to be considered into, you know, joining. Yeah, sure, I was in, but they wanted to see if I was actually dedicated. And, you know, I was in high school back then. I think I was a freshman or a sophomore. And... Well, I didn't really have anything else to do, so I easily got in. So upon entering the clan, you know, it was pretty surreal. I mean, there were so, it was like, it was weird because I was like kind of the only youngest person there. I mean, there were a few here and there, but I mean, the, the, everybody was just so mature in there, you know. It wasn't really like any other clan I ever joined. Back in the day, I used to have a clan named Seer, S-R-S-E-R-E, -E, and I was managing it, managing it, but... You know, it was pretty difficult to actually manage a clan on your own. You know, you had to make the signatures, you had to make the, the titles, you had to make goals here and there. But it was just too difficult because, I mean, mostly the people that would join this the clan would just, you know, come in for a month or two and then they would just, you know, be inactive. And then you would have to decide whether or not you would keep them around or just kick them out of the clan because they're taking up space. Of course, you know, I would end up kicking them out. But anyway, we're not talking about Siri, we're talking about Shadow. So... Or were we? Oh yeah, so upon joining Shadow back in 2013, you know, they showed me into the, I forget, there was a chat that was before, you know, Discord and, and Skype. I forgot the name of it, but they had their own website pretty much, and I got the I got the pin and everything, and I got in there, and yeah, I mean, we pretty much went against Serenity. It was a good time. Um, TPK all the time, weekly, you know, once that thing, that update was announced, the weekly TPK. <laughs> I mean, it was just a lot of fun to be with them, you know? And then, of course, you know, meeting that exposure, we finally made one of the, you know, one of the videos, you know, you know, looting video number, whatever it was, with that exposure, and, you know, we eventually became good friends. And then comes, you know, the fight against Serenity, you know, Serenity was one of the, well, not Serenity, Scarlet Sentinels, I'm so sorry. Um, Scarlet Sentinels, there you go, I'm sorry, confusing you folks here. Um, Scarlet Sentinels was one of the, you know, they were pretty cool clanmates, but you know, for some reason, <laughs> You know, we just had a huge grudge against him. I mean, of course, it's natural, you know. In real life, if you had a rival, you just had a grudge against him because, you know, you, you just hated them being ahead of you. You just wanted to be the top dog. And I remember at one point that I was, you know, helping them out with Clan TPK, and it would just be fights, you know, nonstop, you know, accusing each other of, you know, um, you know, pandying, cheating, blah, 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 blah. It was honestly a very exciting experience and then there was a point in time where i basically decided to run for tbk but of course being young and not being able to do you know make my own decisions and only being focused on school 
my parents pretty much didn't allow me to run for TPK, but basically the first day I was 6,000 points, I was first, and the second guy was at 3,000 points, so I pretty much had an ex huge, an extremely huge lead, even though I had to go to school at 7 a.m. and come back at 9 or 10, so honestly, it was just insane that I had such a, a big lead, you know, I had, um, I had Void, you know, even backing me up saying, hey man, good luck, um, if you need any help, just let us know, you know, Void <laughs> messaging me, you know, Shadow was pretty much known throughout that frontier like that, you know, Void, yeah, they were also a huge clan, but, you know, Shadow was pretty much known at the time because Void just pretty much disappeared. So basically, yeah, I mean, the TPK didn't go all that well, I ended up getting out of it because of my parents, <laughs> oh, man, it was just a big mess, but, of course, Shadow didn't really hold it against me because I knew I was young and, you know, pretty much living, you know, strict rules under my parents' roof. You know, their house, their rules, blah, 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 blah. And basically, I ended up losing it. All right, so let's time skip to 2015, 16. Around this time, basically, everybody is, you know, pretty much almost leaving. I mean, you guys got to understand that Shadow was one of the most maturest clans you could get into. You know, I pretty much kind of found my maturity through them. You know, I couldn't go in there and start, you know, cursing every two sentences. You know, this is a clan that you have to take seriously. Kind of weird to say that from, you know, from a gamer's point, but some people take this, you know, this these uh, clans very seriously. You know, there's order, there's organization, there's recruitments, and they pretty much pick out their, you know, their their recruits very carefully. You know, even their exposure was upon them. Although that exposure was pretty much kind of almost, you know, here and there. He was never pretty much seen. You know, like like a celebrity. You know, you hear about them, you know, they're there, but they're pretty much hard to get a hold on. You know, he would pop in every once in a while. You know, but again, he was a college student, so his mind was elsewhere. But, I mean, pretty much around 2015, 16, I mean, everybody was pretty much, you know, they were a father, they were a mother, they had, you know, they were all adults, you know, living in the adult life. And pretty much, you know, I said, I'm taking a break. And they're like, okay, killer, we'll see you around. And I said, like, okay, guys, I'll be back hopefully very soon. Around this time, it was, I'm a senior. So I graduated and I didn't come back for eight months. And yeah, I mean, I will post here every once in a while, but. I mean, I even, I even slowly but surely saw that the, you know, every, nobody was pretty much posting anymore. You know, that exposure left to uh, to Scarlet Sentinels. You know, that was a big shocker to me at the time. And pretty much most of the clanmates followed. You know, Shadow was dying at that point. And I mean, once I realized that Shadow was dying and everybody was leaving, you know, 115 being one of my favorite, you know, clanmates, I, I Prodigy, Koala Jesus, you know, all these players that I used to play with, they pretty much just all died off. I mean, I mean, what else do you do when you turn into college, when you go to college? Do you stick around playing a video game all your life or, <laughs> you know, you know what I'm saying? So, I mean, yeah, I mean, I pretty much assumed that Ch Shadow died and that's what happened. When I came back in uh, November, October, and I declared I was, you know, coming back to this game permanently, I went back to the clan system, you know, the, the, the little clan thing we have in there, you know, and I saw that I was the last one remaining and I was like, wow, so this is it. This is it for Shadow, and I mean, I thought I was the leader, but <laughs> I realized out of respect, <laughs> I shouldn't do that, because that's disrespectful, you know, we should just let the clan go to, you know, rest, and well, here we are now, and now I want to basically update you guys on what's going on with Shadow, so I talked to the former guy, you know, he was, you know, the big guy who pretty much organized the clan and put it back on his feet, um, I couldn't get into contact with him, so instead I've contacted his chaotic, some man who recruited me, and I asked him, hey man, is there any way we can possibly get back into, you know, or get the clan back on his feet? And he says, yeah, honestly, um, there is a, there is a chance we can bring the clan back in his feet, you know, unless the other don't want to do. But yeah, there is a good chance Shadow can return, which is very exciting. And seeing how that Frontier 2 might end up being hum huge in the gaming industry, you know, I have a pretty good feeling that hopefully it will come back. Because right now, I mean, I pretty much in the, I am in the clan for the perfect art book, you know. Back then, Shadow was just the clan I was always looking forward to it every time I logged in, you know. Looking forward to that exposure, Joe 15, 5 Call of Jesus, I.O. Prodigy, Chaotix, you know. These guys were, were one of the, like, the funniest and most, you know, uh, the coolest guys you talk to, you know. That <laughs> you guys could talk. I, I was basically going to sleep at 2 to 3 a.m., you know, just, just messing around, going PvPing, helping them out with Top Survivor. Even and the, and the best part is when you ran for something and you announced it, they will give you as much money as you need a credit. They even let me a GAU 19. Back in the day, the GAU 19 was worth 500 mil. You know how incredible it was to own that GAU 19 knowing that you had such a superior weapon amongst everybody else? 
Yeah, man, that GAU-19, I remember, it will melt the crap out of anybody. I mean, the strongest armor back then was an XT. <laughs> oh, no, a bioreactive. I mean, come on, like, t nobody would stand a chance against you in a GAU. It was just amazing. So, I mean, I want to thank Shadow and all his member members, if you guys watched, is that, you know, thank you for giving me a great memory of this game. And hopefully, if any of, if any of you leaders watch this video, hopefully, if Death Frontier 2 comes back, well, if Death, when, once Death Frontier 2 begins... I will hopefully you guys bring this clan back because honestly it's a clan that deserves a lot of respect and a clan that everybody basically wants to join at one point and you know in the different tier career so yeah i mean that was basically the history or my history of being in shadow you know it was just a very fun time talking to that x and well <laughs> do i miss it hell yeah one of the funnest clans i ever joined in my life and do i wish and do i hope it comes back absolutely so yeah guys that's basically my history on you know shadow and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this little mini history. So this is Killer Sabbath Drink signing off and I'll see you guys soon.